Hi all, welcome back to the shop. Um, today it is the episode number two uh, regarding the CNC modification uh, for the coding system. And um, I have to uh, to install um, this uh, 12 volt uh, valve that will open and close um, the the air that getting outside uh, that getting from the air compressor uh, to the to the nose. Uh, of the CNC. So uh, what I did, uh, um, I created a bracket, a mounting bracket uh, with some holes. So the mounting brackets will go on the side uh, this way of, of the CNC and uh, then I can use the the top uh, bolts of the valve to uh, to fix, uh, to secure the valve uh, on the bracket. So it will be once uh, in the in this way. I remove the washer, then put the washer on the mounting brackets. So it will go this way. Uh, I have to mount the bracket first uh, because the the net is closing the the hole uh, of, of the mounting side. So it will. Uh, Will be mounted uh, this way, so uh, very easy. Um, and uh, I really, really use uh, the screws. Uh, they are supposed to make the hole by themselves, and then to make uh, the tapping operation. So uh, I will try the these screws for the for the mounting bracket. So I didn't install the bracket and uh, also the electro valve uh, on the side of the CNC, um, and, and I want to have the, the wire in the back. But that I discover um, there is a, a flow a direction, and uh, the input uh, cannot be reversed with the output of the air compressor. So uh, there is. I don't know if you can see the small arrow just below there but I, I have to reverse uh, the valve so I will uh, I will do that and uh, see you the, the next operation so uh, I removed the, uh, the electro valve and uh, maybe you can see better uh, what what I'm speaking about is the so there is a sense um, for the air compressor to to be in and out um, so I, I need to put uh, the other way I will flip I will flip those wire back like that and mount this way so the wire is in the back and the side of the CNC here and the arrow is in the proper position so let's go here with that way. So uh, I did secure the valve uh, on a bracket, and the bracket is mounted on the on the side of the CNC. And maybe you can see that. So the the Y axis is there, and uh, it's the it's the side of the CNC, and, the, and it's mounted like like that. So the screw uh, works well. I, I put. Uh, I put a, a pipe uh, that received the the uh, the air from the compressor, so it's the blue one. Um, it's a rapid coupling here, so uh, I can remove uh, easily uh, when I want to, to work uh, with the air on on the machine. And uh, the green pipe go to the air compressor uh, close to the drill press there. And um, the other side, so the valve, so the pipe go down. So it's not uh, installed yet on the CNC, but uh, I will do it and uh, go up there and go to the to the Y and Z axis, and then uh, the blue the blue pipe here 
um, is connected to a translucid uh, one that is uh, delivered with the with the cold mist system, and then it get in the head of the z-axis and go to the uh, to the hair blower and uh, make the, the cooling. And uh, there is also two pipes. One is for the for the air, this one, and the second one is for for the cooling. Uh, but on this machine, I do not use the the coolant because it is made from from wood, so it could be a very big mess. Okay, um, now the remaining thing is uh, to make the wiring uh, of the valve. So uh, let's go ahead. So I did finish the wiring. Uh, all go through to the machine. Uh, so I guess you can see the the cable going there and down and go in the mess of wire and uh, the first test we are going to make is uh, with the Linux CNC so here is the screen with F3 there is an option here and I don't know if you can hear that it works it works great so the relay activates the plus 12 volt and the electrode is open and now close so uh, I need uh, two hands to uh, connect the air compressor and uh, we will check with uh, with the air to see how, how it works I connected the 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 air pipe to the compressor and I also put a small paper a uh, white one to see uh, if the air blowing is running and so let's do some checking with the the CNC controller I think you can see the paper so it works it works great you can stop it now up on again so very nice it works great so the last thing we have to do is to uh, to check now with the that we call the MDI the manual data input and the CNC if it works also so uh, if you press F5 and you enter the command uh, let's make a zoom and zoom on it. I hope M7. You activated. It's like a, a program code, and uh, the air is running. And to stop the air, uh, uh, M2 will do the job. So let's check if it works. M2. Okay, so that's cool. System is working great. So M7 uh, arriving M2. So now I can directly put uh, the command inside a inside a the G code file. So it's a great improvement and it will be much easier than walking there through through the shop connect the pipe there to the compressor then to go back here to uh, the CNC controller and the PC so here it is the the CNC modification with the air cooling automatic and um, thanks for watching